I have my way of making coffee and it's my way. It might not be your way, but it feels very efficient. I'm a New York City girl, we don't have time. I do a cold brew, I take a cold brew. I simply pour it into my coffee cup. Yes, I do. And then I put her in the microwave for two minutes. Boom. Boom. That's how I do my morning coffee. My name is Laverne Cox, and I'm going to be taking you on a little trip through Laverne's New York. What brings me joy, what I do on a daily basis, and all that jazz. Two minutes later, it's gonna be really hot, so I'm gonna probably wait a few seconds before I sip. Many years ago, an acting teacher of mine named Brad Calcaterra suggested to all of his students that we should start our day um, writing down five things that we are grateful for and five things that we're manifesting. Brad suggests that we write it down on cards, but like I do everything on my phone. First thing on my gratitude list would be my boyfriend. He's often first on my, on my list. I'm feeling really, really grateful for my team today because this week I've been so overwhelmed, but I've chosen this. That is another thing to be grateful for. I get to choose my life. I'm grateful for my health. I'm grateful for good health. I'm grateful for my mother and my brother. I believe in the power of manifestation though. Write it down, write down the things that you want to happen in your life and take concrete action. If it is meant for you, if it is meant for you, it will happen and it will happen on God's time not your time. You know, I moved to New York City in 1993 and I thought I would be, you know, a superstar in two, three years tops. Um, Orange is New Black premiered in 2013. That was 20 years after I moved to New York. doing a, a voice lesson with my uh, longtime voice teacher, Madame Iris Sith. We met in 1996, and here we are, 25, almost 26 years later. It's remarkable that you were only three years old when we began. Just... I own my age now. That that's if, Iris got so used to like me being cagey about my age that he's like, well, you must have started at three. I'm 49 years old, so I think what would have been in 1996. You were in your like early 20s when we met. Oh Jesus! I was only 110 then. <laughs> <laughs> you want to look at the Schubert or the summertime or what do you like? Let's start with the Schubert. We're singing this lead by uh, Franz Schubert called Der Tod und das Mädchen, um, Death and the Maiden. And in the first part of the song, um, the maiden is saying, please, death, don't take me, please. I, I'm not ready to go. And in the second part, death sings. And death says, girl, it's going to happen. <laughs> it's going to happen, chill. Um, come with me. Keep dying. On these Fs, the gutes moods. I want to try to get just a little more of that on the low D. So it's not so pressed, but spooky and weird and scary through the breath. See, see. <clears throat>
So we're headed to Patricia Field's gallery, and many people know Patricia Field because she was the costume designer for Sex and the City and so many other shows. I know Patricia Field because I used to work at her legendary store on 8th Street back in the day, and Amanda Lepore also worked there at the time. Mona Foote worked at Patricia Field. Joey Rowland worked at Pat Field. Dana Davis, Candace Kane, um, Perfidia, like legendary um, New York nightlife people worked at Pat's store. When I think of Pat, I think of all of that and all these really great memories of New York City that, um, it's a New York City that doesn't exist anymore. And um, it makes me sad and things change, but it was an incredible time to be alive and to be in the city. I was sort of gender non-conforming. I started wearing girls' clothes, like culottes and bell bottoms, and eventually I advanced to dresses. I was always sort of an outcast. I was always kind of bullied because of how I dressed and how I looked. And when I arrived in New York City in 1993, I didn't have to wait to get into Disco 2000. You know, if you were one of the kids, if you had a look, you went straight to the front of the line and they let you in. You could be different. You could be trans. You could be gender non-conforming. And there were places for you to go and uh, work and make money. Patricia Field and her store was sort of the epicenter of so much of that. Oh. Oh my goodness. What is amazing about Pat Field is that there were often up and coming designers that would feature in her store. I always think of David Dalrymple. I think of my dear friend, um, Stephen Davis, also known as Tobel von Cartier. Pat's was always this place where you can go and find interesting, unique things. And Stephen Davis, this is, happens to be Stephen Davis. Stephen Davis again. So very proud of Stephen. This is hot. This is so hot, oh my God. The woman, the myth, the legend herself, Patricia Field. <laughs> Pat's face on a clock. In queer communities, in LGBTQ plus communities, we have oral traditions, we have amazing culture that we pass down. Pat has had so much success doing costumes for film and TV, but the communities that she created through her stores were really, really important and we should remember those. The studs, wow. It's like a rubber. It's like Elvis, but like femme Elvis. <laughs> I think about that downtown girl who's sort of whimsical and throws a lot of different things together. And I, when I see that downtown girl, that downtown girl can be non-binary. She can be male identified. She can identify as anything because it's Patricia Field. And it's 2022. Throw this and throw this on. This hat is gorgeous. Jonathan Bresler. This is gorgeous. I'm going to try this on. I'm kind of a, I don't want to take this hat off. I'm going to have to pick this up. Pray tell, what are these? Are they chaps? They are chaps. They are yes, chaps. But I think they were intended to be chaps. Okay. Oh, oh my gosh. It's a photo shoot moment. It's a, it's a super editorial. <laughs> okay, hat, what? <laughs> okay, I believe this is the fantasy. This. <laughs> is the fantasia. You cannot come to Patricia Fields Gallery and not have it affect you in a very special way. <laughs> Sometimes it's really just about being whimsical and having fun and not being afraid to like, you know, get it wrong because sometimes when it's wrong, that's the most right thing ever. Laverne, thank you so much for coming. We thank appreciate you. the support. And it of was course. so nice to see you. Of course. And you have to keep this. You have to take it with you because it's only fitting. <laughs> thank, thank you. Thank you. I will be back for sure. That was so much fun taking a trip down memory lane at Patricia Fields' store. No matter where I live in the world, I'll always be a New Yorker. It's not just a state of mind. It's a state of mind, body, and soul. Thank you so much, Vogue. I hope you have fun following me this 24 hours. And until next time, stay in the love. <laughs>